Valentine's Day is coming up and in this video I will teach you how to make anyone fall in love with you yes or not really but kind of I will show you how to make beautiful customized personalized Valentine's cards like these with AI cards that will get you reaction like this oh my God. Oh my Whoa. God. <laughs> okay, so don't forget to subscribe to our channel and let's get into this video. Welcome to another episode of Photoroom Editing Tutorial where I teach you how to use Photoroom, the best AI photo and design app for e-commerce. So how do you create personal AI cards? All you have to do is find AI images. Where do you find AI images? Starting off at the create page, you have to look for all AI tools and that's where you've got AI images. Once you go on there, you will see that we have a bunch of mini tools that will allow you to create all kinds of things with AI images. You can create lifestyle photography, you can create architectural photography or AI logos. That's a super popular one. And you will also find Valentine's cards. Quick disclaimer, AI images is a tool available for Photoroom Pro users, but if you want to give it a try and you're not a pro user yet you can try our free weekly subscription okay so let's start from the basics the first thing that you will see once you tap on Valentine's card is that you will see a couple of suggestions that we prepared for you just in case if you don't really have a clear idea of what you want to do yet for example to my soulmate you complete me so you can try with playing with this one AI will generate a couple of options for you as you can see every single option is completely unique if you don't like them generate more generate as many options as you like but if you happen to like one of these but you want to change it up a little it's super easy all you have to do is that you pick the one that you like you'll see that little icon with three dots you tap on that one and there is an option called describe change you can use that to for example change the text on that card so you can say happy valentine's jason love you lots right you can also change details like background you can make the background red for example once you're happy with what ai created for you there's also an option to customize it even more click on insert and when you scroll down you will see a bunch of pre-made graphics that we have so you can add little hearts to your card or macaroons whatever you like and a quick tip for those of you who have your own business or if you're an e-commerce seller, if you're trying to make cute Valentine's themed content, I would recommend you to check out our Valentine's Day template. Where do you find templates? Start from create page and just scroll down. You will see a bunch of different templates that we make for different occasions. So for Christmas, we obviously had Christmas templates. And then for occasions like Valentine's, we'll have a bunch of templates as well. So all you have to do is choose a template that you like and then insert your own product to it. Okay, so now we covered the basics. Let me show you step by step how I created these beautiful cards. So I decided to make these cards for my two colleagues Raf who is French and is our office manager and Cody who's American and she's our talent partner I got this idea based on Christmas cards that I made a couple of months back for my colleagues and a lot of people were disappointed that they didn't get their own cards so I decided to do the same thing with Valentine's because these cards are very popular in this office. No, not really, but I, I'm trying to start a little trend, you know, like trying to make them popular. Let's get to work. The first thing you should do before making a card for someone is asking yourself, what does this person like? Or is there like a memory, a beautiful memory that we have together that reminds me of this person? So when I thought of Cody, I thought of Miami because I know that she likes Miami. That's where she just recently spent her birthday. So I thought to myself, let me make her a Miami themed 
Valentine's card. But if you need some inspiration, a tip that I could give you is to use ChatGPT. What I did is that I just said, I am making Valentine's Day card for my friend Cody. Can you suggest AI prompts I should use in order to generate this image? And ChatGPT will suggest some prompts that you can use. However, as I said, this is not really a necessary step. You can try that if you want. So I actually liked one of the suggestions that ChatGPT gave me, uh, so I used it, but I made some changes to customize this even more. Okay, so the first thing I did is that I wanted AI to understand that I want Cody to be in that picture. So you can basically describe a person. I said, a playful cartoon of a girl with curly short hair in ponytail. Then instead of coconut, I decided to add matcha because Cody is a member of our little matcha group in this office. We do like our matcha. So instead of coconut, we've got a cup of matcha. And then instead of flip flops, I change it to a sweater saying, I love photo room because well, Cody loves photo room. Then I moved on to the background. I wanted the background to be skyline of Miami, but in order to honor Cody's background, Cody is American, but has lived in France for many, many years. I added Eiffel Tower to Miami's skyline. And that's the coolest thing with AI, right? you can basically create whatever you want. Like you can create a whole new universe. And I think it's funny that some people think that AI is something that will eventually kill our creativity. I actually think the opposite as someone who uses AI a lot. I think AI can actually enhance your creativity. Honestly, like this creating AI images and creating like a whole universe can be not only like a super fun process, but it's also super creative. Like it really gets your creative juices going. Anyways, and here are the results that I got. I already thought that they were pretty good, but it made me think of like a little inside joke that I have. I tapped on the three dots to describe the change and I asked AI to add little like angel wings and devil horns to Cody because I like to say that Cody is like a little angel, but sometimes a little devil. Basically, Cody is like the nicest person you'll ever meet. And she has this like really kind, polite angel voice. But then sometimes, and then I also wanted to add like a little personal message in the bottom. So I added text saying, my draft never find out that we steal candy from the secret candy cabinet because we do have a secret candy cabinet in this office and as real adults do we steal candy from it sometimes anyways um so this is the final result i thought it was super cute so hopefully cody will like it i have something for you oh dun, dun, dun. i love this it's cute might raf never find out that we steal candy from the secret candy cabinet <laughs> <laughs> This is amazing. How do you do this? Okay, look, and look, okay, I, I will have to explain to you what is okay. happening. Okay, so this is obviously it. you. You love yeah. photo room. Obviously. You have your little matcha here. And uh, you have angel wings, but also devil horns. Okay, I'm going to need that <laughs> explanation. explanation. <laughs> no, I just said, like, Cody's like a little angel, but a little devil at the same time. <laughs> and I'm on the beach, and but I'm in Paris. It's Miami, but then we've got Eiffel Tower. So it's so a combination funny. of uh, both words. <laughs> Kaya, this is so thoughtful. Thank you. Thank you. Brilliant. Now let's move on to the second card, card for rough. When you start to generate a new AI image, you kind of have to imagine that you're describing a story or like a scene to a person. It kind of is like a visual storytelling and use as many adjectives, be as descriptive as you want. There's no limit to how much you can prompt. When I started making this card, I really wanted to make 
make something that reminds me of Raf. The first picture that I see in my head is Raf standing somewhere, preferably somewhere high up on a pedestal so everyone can see her and she's talking to us. Hello followers, time to party! That's kind of the scene that I was trying to recreate here. So I started by telling AI to create a fun, playful manga style cartoon of a tall girl standing on a pedestal confidently. That's a thing, use as many adjectives as you want to really like describe the scene and give the essence. We actually have this megaphone in our office that Raph often uses. So that's like something that really reminded me of her. So I asked AI to add that megaphone, but also leave an empty bubble, speech bubble above her head where I can add text myself. Then I went on to describing the way she looks. She's wearing a purple crop top and these like pink military style shoes that Raf often wears. And this is how detailed you can get. You can literally describe what that person is wearing, their facial expression, everything. So these are the options that I got. I found one that I liked, but I wanted to customize it a bit. So these are the options that I got and I found one that I really liked, but I decided to customize it even more. I wanted her hair to be straight since Raf has straight brown hair. And also I added a little detail, a back filled out with ginger because Raf loves ginger. And then I went on to customize it even more. I added text to that little empty speech bubble that I created. I said, hello, photo roomers. Welcome to photo room Berghain offsite because well, let me just say that if Raf had her way and she could organize an offsite for us in Berghain, she probably would. And Photoroom gives you a bunch of options when it comes to creating text. You can either do it the regular way, but you can also turn your text into a sticker if you wanna make it look a bit more extra special, a bit more 3D. I also added a couple of extra details, LGBT hearts, because I know that this is something that Raf would appreciate, and French flags, because, well, Raf is probably the most French person you will ever meet. Like, try to imagine a French person, that would be Raf. Raf is very dramatic, and she knows good food, basically. <laughs> And talking about food, I also wanted to add like a little personal message in the bottoms and I said, thank you for always ordering Korean food from now on. Because I do like Korean food and Raf is our office manager, so she's usually the one in charge of what we eat, so. Okay, let me give this card to Raf and see her reaction. Raf, I have something for you. What's this? Are you ready? I'm not sure. Show me. Oh my god! Oh my Whoa! God. I got into Bergheim! <laughs> Beside Valentine's cards, you can of course create cards for all occasions like birthdays or you, it's also a great tool to make customized thank you notes for your customers, for example. So, I hope this video was useful for you guys. If you created your own Valentine's card, let me know how it went. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel because we have many more cool videos coming out. So I'll hopefully see you soon. Bye.